We're going to take a look at exercise six out of chapter four, section two. And they want us to find the values of C that satisfy the mean value theorem on our interval. So let's copy our function here for number six. So f of x is equal to natural log of x minus one, and we're on the interval from two to four. Closed interval from two to four. And there's a couple parts to this. The first part is we need to evaluate and find the average rate of change of this function on the interval. And then we need to go ahead and whatever that value is, set the derivative equal to the value we get, and then solve for x, or in this case, c, or potentially multiple values for c. So the first part of this that we'll do, we will do the average value. So we're going to take f of 4 minus f of 2 all over 4 minus 2. And that gives us the natural log of 4 minus 1 minus the natural log of 2 minus 1 all over two. That gives us the natural log of three minus the natural log of one over two. And the natural log of one is going to be zero. So that means we get log of three over two. So that is our average rate of change over the closed interval from four to two. The next thing that we need is the derivative of our function. And the derivative of the natural log of x minus one is one over x minus 1. And so what we have to do here is we have to go ahead and set that equal to natural log of 3 over 2 here. And what we can do now is we can either actually have a couple choices. We can either clear denominators here or because we have fraction equals fraction, we can just go ahead and take the reciprocal of each side and set those equal to each other. And then that allows us to go ahead and just add one to each side and that gives us our value here. And what we were solving for is C. So C is equal to 1 plus 2 over the natural log of 3. Something that you may see in examples of, of this type is when they go to do the second step, they may, instead of going ahead and writing X in there, they might just go ahead and instead of x, they might just go ahead and write in c all the way along. It's going to get you to the same final answer there. So just whether you keep it as x and then change it to c at the end, or set this equation up to with c as the variable and solve for it, 
takes you to the same destination. So again, here is our final answer right here. This is what we needed to get to the second step.